I, you're on. I am I? Okay. Yeah, you're on. All right. Well, thank you. Hi. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Happy Sunday, March nineteenth. Uh, we are just days away from uh, Fan Fest Chicago, which uh, we're very much looking forward to. At least I am. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm sad I won't be there. I'll miss I'll miss you guys. <laughs> Um, so tonight we are drawing Katie Lotz. Um, we love Katie. <laughs> right? We, uh, well, I do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I thought so. Um, I remember, uh, the, what was it? 2014 New York Comic Con. Uh-huh. We were... There the day after the episode where she died in Arrow, and I was furious. Oh, man. I was so mad. But she's back now, so it's all good. <laughs> um, and she's badass. So. Uh, Alright, I'm trying to find the video. Every every time we do this, I have trouble finding the video. Um, I'm sure that most people that are fans of Katie uh, have seen The Machine, which is a movie she starred in. Oh, not fans of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's some overlap in the fan bases between you and, and Katie. Uh, yeah, that's going to be rough all night. Okay, yeah. but let's see. Yeah. Uh, Miss Lots. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sure that fans of Miss Lots have seen The Machine. Uh, but if, if you have not seen it and you're a fan of hers, uh, or if you just like cool sci-fi, uh, check it out. It's, it's really good. She's really good in it. Um, yeah, I was, I was very impressed. And, um, I know it's something that she's proud of. She recently posted, uh, a clip of it on Instagram, I believe. Instagram or Twitter. Um, and was talking, he said that it was still one of her favorite clips that she's ever, her favorite scenes that she's ever filmed. Um, so, so it's good stuff. Check it out. This is The Machine? The Machine, yep. I saw that when I was looking up, I went on IMDB and looked her up, and now I'm not finding it, but. You said it's a movie, a separate movie. Yes, it's a movie. And it's just coming out now, or no, no, it's oh, been it out. Oh, came out twenty thirteen. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was really good. I thought she did a good job in um, Battle of the Year, which is she's a choreographer. Oh, really? Yeah. I have not seen that. I watched it when you were away. Oh, well, okay, that makes sense then. Um, yeah, that's the one with um, the guy from Lost, Sawyer from Lost. Oh, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah, that's him. <laughs> I'll look him up for you. No, you don't have to. No. All right. I know well, who it he's is. he's the lead, and she's in it. She's a choreographer, and it's it's um. She is way too good for him. Don't tell me they're romantically involved. No, they're okay, not. good. Spoiler alert! No, they're not. Um, they I don't even think they hint at that at all. Okay, good. Um, yeah, she uh, she comes to help him out because he's like supposed to be training these guys and he has no experience with um the street dancing that they do oh so. actually i think 
I remember you talking about that. Yeah, I was telling you about it after I watched it. Yeah. So, maybe my computer is screwed up again, but I'm not seeing any comments. Is anybody out there? Hello? Bueller. Let's see. I've got two um, if, a fa if a video goes live on Facebook and no one watches it <laughs> does it make a noise? <laughs> I've got two, two uh, I've got I've got Firefox and I've got Chrome on open with Facebook. So I'm going to check both of them and make sure. So let's, hopefully everybody can hear us, let's talk about a couple of things that have been going on recently. One is the Torchlight Society. The quarter one provisions have been sent out and everybody should have them at this point. Yeah. Or, or maybe Well maybe they went tomorrow. out Wednesday. they went out Wednesday. Tomorrow right? at the latest, I think. Yeah. Um although I haven't I haven't seen anybody mentioning that they've gotten them. No? I thought I saw one. But it's usually yeah. two or three day service, so I was guessing like by Saturday or Monday, like tomorrow people will get them. Anyway, they've been shipped. Um you can join in anytime you want if you're not already a member. Uh, and you can, if you see stuff from old shipments that you want, you can purchase them individually. Um, another new thing we have is we've got new portfolio books. They're in our store, so if you need a way to keep your art or showcase your art, you can pick one up. They're Those have actually done really well so far. I mean, <laughs> I had to reorder stock a day after uh -huh. the day after we posted it. Yep. Those are $30 each and they're um, branded. So it's not just like a plain old thing. It's, it's quite pretty. Um, but in a masculine way, not in a, not in a pink tutu kind of way. Um, Good save. <laughs> we have t-shirts for the first time ever. I feel like we didn't make much of a big deal out of this, but really it is kind of a big deal. Like you've, you've created t-shirts before and you sell them on Tee Public. But this is really the first branding. Yeah, no, I'm 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 looking at you because did we post that on the store yet? Yeah. I thought we were Oh no, we haven't posted it yet. Yeah, we were waiting on something. But we have them and it's still exciting. It is. <laughs> it is. Um we're trying to figure out some behind the scenes stuff for shipping because they're not shipping from us, they're shipping from Uber prints. That's who's making them. Um, Although, I guess we can show them what it looks like. Right now? Yeah? Sure. Okay. Here, I'll get that set. Okay. All right, so this is the front. <clears throat> okay. This is the back. Okay. 
So the idea behind it is that it's kind of like a, a band tour t-shirt. Uh, and it, it's lists listing on the back all the conventions that we're going to be at this year. Um, and so hopefully people will like it and we can do a different one each year for all the many conventions that we'll be at. Although we will not have stock at conventions because it's just yeah too difficult to <laughs> to do what yeah. sizes and all that stuff that people might want. So um, we also have a lot of new items that we um, announced. When was when did we announce that? Wednesday. Wednesday. We announced it Wednesday. We have a lot of new things. Somebody is just asking now about any new Walking Dead. And so I just was thinking, yes, we have um, Megan. Yep. He's, he's available in the store now. Um, Jason Dennis is saying hi. Hi. Hi, Jason. Will this drawing be available on t-shirts? So this mm. Katie Lotz no probably not probably not this drawing um i'm actually using a drawing i did as reference um maybe this one will be on a t-shirt I, I don't know uh i haven't really thought about it hi claire hi claire um brian will be in chicago i will not so he'll see you there. Um, the Claire, are you volunteering at Chicago? Or going as a fan? We'll wait and see what she says. Um, the biggest thing that's going on right now, the most exciting thing that's going on right now, is our raffle for charity for the Children's Specialized Hospital. Um, this hospital has several locations, but they have one very close to us in New Jersey. And um, being a mom now, I just felt compelled to help the children. And, and ironically, I'm a dad now, too, so. Haha. <laughs> yes, she's volunteering, LOL. Oh, no, wait, that's not her. Wait a minute. Alexander Perez, I'm, I'm volunteering. Oh, cool. Is Does that mean volunteering for you or for the show? Because <laughs> LOL makes me wonder <laughs> if they're volunteering for you right now. Um, so anyway, more about this raffle. Uh, it's two dollars a ticket. Uh, every dollar of every ticket will go to this charity, and um, there are going to be ten prizes. The biggest prize is that you get to commission Brian for a headshot, um, preferably it's going to be pop culture. Really yeah. Um, and it has to be appropriate. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, yeah, Brian wants to share it, so. <laughs> um, but if there's if there's somebody that you've been wanting to have commissioned, um, now is your chance because we get it. You know, it's paying professional services is is not cheap, so. This is a great prize. And then we have lots of other prizes. You can go onto Facebook and you can see the, um, you can see what's, you can look for the, the old post or you can go right onto our store and search with the word raffle. It'll come right up and it'll explain everything. Um, am I missing anything? Uh, one of the prizes is a Wolverine bobblehead signed by Hugh Jackman. Okay. Um, and uh, one of the questions people have been asking me online about that is, why am I giving it up? 
Um, and the reason I'm giving it up, first of all, it's for a good cause. Uh, the Children's Hospital is, is definitely a good cause. Um, but also, don't worry about me. Uh, when I met him, he signed a piece of my art of him. Uh, so I, I'm keeping that. So, don't worry. <laughs> In the next house, that's going up. Okay. It was up until we turned uh, my former office into Aiden's uh, room. Yeah. It'll go back up. Um, so, does anybody have any questions for Brian? Or Katie. Not Miss Lots. We don't have her. <laughs> Where's Ryan? I thought Ryan was getting on tonight. I'm waiting for here, here, I'm here. <laughs> Jason's looking forward to seeing you in May. And yeah, I'm, I'm hoping not to get sick again. And I'm looking forward to it not being Mother's Day weekend. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I was so silly when I agreed to let you go last year. Yep, I, I can't take any blame for that. No Wendy's salads, he says. Yep. So, fun fact, Katie Lotz, Miss Lotz, started her career as a dancer. She went on tour with Avril Lavigne and Lady Gaga, and she also has done Lady Gaga videos, or video. She was in a girl group called Socks, S-O-C-C-X. She... That's not how you spell socks. <laughs> she, she sang and danced. That is cool. It's very interesting. I knew and the part is... about the dancer, uh, the backup dancer. I did not know about. Yes, yeah, she was. The girl a, group. Like a front girl, a front person, whatever you want to call them. Um, and that was 10, 11 years ago. She's 30, so she was, you know, only like 19 or 20, I guess. Wow. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's also from San Diego. Was she there? Wait, you weren't in San Diego. Wait. Yeah, you were. What? Were you in San Diego? Not San Diego, San Diego Comic Con, but wasn't there a show right near San Diego? No. No? Okay, then. I did, uh, you're talking about Long Beach? I think so. No, it's closer to L.A. Oh, never mind. If anybody is curious to see about these, uh, socks videos, S-O-C-C-X, I YouTubed it. If you just type in, um, socks, and they've got a few different, uh, from, I think from Dusk Till Dawn was their first release and then scream out loud their debut album hold on was released in 2007 and their third single can't take my eyes off you released in 2008 um it actually reached the top 10 in germany oh yeah it's interesting pushing aside david hasselhoff haha <laughs> You know she was in Mad Men? Did you know that? Yes. You did know that. Although we've never watched it, so. Right. She does a lot of her own stunts, which is very impressive to me. That's because she's awesome. Right. And what else can we say? Oh, she, she won an award. Um... This was, oh, where'd it go? A 
at the Toronto After Dark Film Festival, she won Best Actress for The Machine. Well deserved. And she was nominated for Most Promising Newcomer for the same film, which is interesting. Um, let's see, what else? She was in one episode of Robot Chicken. She played... Oh... <laughs> Um, Death Valley. She was in a TV series in 2011. She's yeah. Officer Kirsten Landry. She it was 11 episodes. I, w I wanted to find that because it looked interesting. She was also in an episode of Law and Order. And she was in Bring It On, All or Nothing, 2006. It might have been like one of the direct-to-video ones. And she's got a bunch of other ones. It's just, that's what, you know, calls out to me. I think it's funny that they list the Superhero Fight Club 2.0 2016. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it counts. It's just, it's just so funny that it's there. So we don't have our usual people on today, and it looks like everybody's pretty quiet tonight, so I'm glad I looked up some stuff about Miss Lots. Mm. So what are you, are you, is this one, is this piece you're doing, is this just going to be for sale? I, I'm mm -hmm. sorry if I'm, yeah, just for sale. Okay. Yeah, it'll be, um, assuming I finish it before I leave, uh -huh. I'll have it at my booth in Chicago. Okay. Um, you gonna frame it first? It's well, gonna be cheaper if you don't. Yeah, I if would say traveling. I would say probably not. I probably won't frame it. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure. Uh, you've got a couple that you're donating, and I wasn't sure if this was one or not. Right. Yeah, initially, um, this session was going to be for uh, a piece that I was going to donate to the C2E2 uh, charity auction, um, but they actually wanted something that I already did, so so save me time. Mm -hmm. So for the people who are watching right now, is there anybody that you'd like to see drawn in the future? Let's just, let's say in the future, like this year. I'm also curious, uh, you can, you know, answer that question, but I'm also curious, the people that are tuning in, since it's not our regular crowd, uh, how'd you hear about this? Yeah, so, Alexander, if you're still there, have we met before? Have you met Brian? Have you bought at a show? How did you hear about our event? So what else are we talking about? Mm -hmm. Well, okay, so after Heroes and Villains Fan Fest Chicago, March 25th to the 26th, we have Great Philadelphia Comic Con, which I will be joining you for. Yay. That's April 7th to the 9th. Um... Wow, it'll have, will it have been since November, since my last con, by the time I go to that one? Well, yeah, because, you know, I mean. Well, it's like five months, that's a long time. Yeah. 
But, then I've, you know, there was four months in between us doing any cons, so that, that plays into it. I thought it was more like three, but okay. Well, I guess it is more like four. Okay. After that, we have C2E2, April 21st to the 23rd. And then um, Calgary Expo, April 27th to the 30th. Mm -hmm. That's... Um, What's, what's that in? What building is that? Isn't it like a really famous building or something? Well, it's at the Calgary Stampede. Calgary Stampede, okay. And then right after that, I'll men I'll, I was going to stop at April, but because Jason is watching, I'll mention the next one. Northern Ontario Expo in Timmins, May 6th to the 7th. Better be warmer this year. <laughs> Jason's response to me the last time I said that was that I just need to toughen up. Oh, jeez. Oh, I have a heater for you, he says. <laughs> awesome. Actually, that'll be, uh, that'll be fun because uh, Jason got Chalk Girl to to be up there too, so. Oh, nice. Is that the only other person, other artists you'll know? Um, well, uh, my friend Hugh Rookwood was there last year, and I believe he's doing it again this year. But I don't know for sure. Okay. I guess Alexander jumped off. He's Jason saying yes. That he was going to be there again? What you just said, he's saying yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. I'm trying to do two things at once, so. I'm trying to figure out what we're going to talk about next, because... Nobody's chatting. I've run out of things, and, and no one's really chatting here. Um, oh, we can talk about Milano if you want. Is that going to make the songs be in your head? Again. Just don't start humming it, I guess. So last night it took me two hours to fall asleep because I was humming all the songs of Milano. Not humming, obviously, but they were in my brain. They were, I had earworm problems with the Moana songs because Brian has been humming them he's been playing them we keep on playing the DVD in just in the middle of the day and um, so it's been too much and I plead not guilty so this morning I said no Moana I want to sleep tonight <laughs> speaking of Moana Oh, that, are you going to talk about the, what we watched, the making of or whatever? No, I was going to say, I was going to, I was going to promote somebody else. Uh, Chalk Girl just did an awesome thing of Moana. Oh. And. Beth? Yeah, Beth. Beth. Oh. Uh, and I believe Amy Poehler shared a time lapse of it or something like that. Really? Yeah, you know, um, Amy Poehler's Smart Girls, uh, what is it, like a YouTube original thing? Uh, you want me to look that up? You can, sure. Okay. She shared it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's very cool. So what I really liked about Moana is, um, you know, Disney is such, such a huge company, but was it, was it the director and the producer who went out? 
and the, more. It and was more, the, really. Well, the, the co-directors. The co-directors and, and other people involved in making the film um, went out to the Pacific Islands, several of them, and were there for, well, the first time they were there, they were out there for three weeks, and then they would come back and just consult with all these different um, people. Um, a choreographer and oh gosh, who else did they have? Tattoo, fishermen tattoo and guy, and fisherman, tattoo guy, yeah. and dancers. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they really just immersed themselves and tried to bring um, the culture to the big screen, and they tried to honor um, their way of life. And, and from what they said, like everybody was very moved and. Um, very, yeah, very happy with the results, for touched, sure. Well, I was just going to say touched by their visit out there. Yeah. Um, you know, I guess with the, the hustle bustle of the U.S., you see you see a culture where everybody's, you know, much more calm and peaceful and um, makes you want a little bit of that. Yeah. And that's how it was for me when I watched it. It was very uplifting and made me want to live a simpler life. Yep. So do you want to mention the other um, drawings? Like who you've got scheduled? Uh, in terms of other live drawings? Right. Um, well, I don't really have anything in mind right now. Oh, you don't? I thought no. you had a couple of planned out. No, the other ones that I was trying to, to prep were going to be for uh, Heroes and Villains on stage. Oh. But, but then they, they couldn't fit. Uh, fit me into this the panel schedule, okay. which is understandable, since it's a a joint uh, event with uh, Walker Stalker. Walker Stalker, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I know that they're trying to do that for for London. Yeah, that would be really cool. I hope that we have, um, I hope that we, ha I hope that you, that, that you do it. And I hope that we have enough people, enough volunteers that maybe I can go see it. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a bunch of people who, um, stopped by for this event tonight. Mm -hmm. I wish they would say hello. I'm going to have to give them a little hard time. It's not always the way to make them come out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you might be right. So, all right, so actually what I can do is I can mention if you missed the announcements or the announcement of the new pieces that we have, I can tell you who we have. We have Agent Melinda May. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I mentioned already Negan from The Walking Dead. Captain Jack Harkness from Torchwood. But how is he connected to Doctor Who? Uh, I thought... He made an appearance I, on Doctor Who? No, I thought Torchwood was like a spin-off of it. But I, oh. could be, I could be completely wrong because I've never watched either show. Right, right, right. I'll have to look that up. We have... Um, Stephen Amell as Al Sahim. 
And we have a Silver Banshee. Atari Ricci, a Silver Banshee. Mm -hmm. Team Supergirl, which is um, Kara, James, and Wynn. And then we have a DEO, which is Kara, John Jones, with an echo of Martian Manhunter and Alex Danvers. And then we have the 2017 um, Chicago Fan Fest exclusive. Which is basically kind of like a rundown of everybody who's going to be there, right? Yeah, it's it's it doesn't have some of the people that were announced after I finished it. Okay. Um. But. And this one's not for sale. Um, if you're a VIP platinum uh, guest, you'll get one. And if there are any left over, they're going to be at Katrina Law's um, booth. And they're going to sell them, and the proceeds are going to go to a couple of chari charities that she's raising money for. One is for animal welfare? It's Yeah, it's an, an, uh, an animal shelter in L.A. And then the other one is what? Um, a program that, or a charity that builds schools in Nepal. Nepal. Okay. Then we also have a couple of exclusives um, for Heroes and Villains Fan Fest. They're, they are alter egos. One is a Black Canary, and the other is a Spartan, or a Spartan. Spartan! Yeah. Um, and then we have, uh, you, you announced the other alter egos, did you, or no? No. So I will not tell you those. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, the... Um... The guessing contest for that is going up Saturday while I'm at the show. But just for the one, right? Or is it for... Oh, no, it's for both. Shh. We can't tell them there's one and it has a variant? Okay, fine. Claire, are you still with us? She's going to ask you how your pup is. Our friends had to put theirs down yesterday, and it's... Isn't it a similar breed to Claire's? Uh, well, yeah, it's a Malamute. I think Claire's was a husky, I believe. Okay. I put them in the same. Yeah. They're, they're very similar. Very similar. Yeah. 125 pounds. And he was getting old, wasn't he? How old was he? Um, I don't know how old. I know that he lasted longer than they expected. But Yeah. I think he was maybe 14 or 15. Yeah, I don't know. All right, well, maybe she's not here, or maybe I'm not seeing anything new. I'm in Chrome. Let me go to Firefox and see. Wow, that is quite a blurry picture I have for Fanny's and Froggy Anson. <laughs> That's okay. I, I'm going to need your help to know exactly where to go to find this. I don't know why it's such a pain for me. It doesn't just... You should be able to just go to our page. Yeah, I'm on it. And it's not there? It's not just like a regular post. I actually had to, I had to look at the event and see if it... I still don't have it now. I'm just looking at the picture of the event. Well, anyway, 
Sorry, I have technical difficulties. I'll try to fix that. So since you're such a fan of Miss Lots, can you remember the storyline when she first appeared? Well, I know that Sarah had a different actress in the pilot. Um, oh, wow. I didn't. Oh, you didn't remember that? No. Yeah. Um, I don't remember who it was, but yeah, she had a different... Different actress, and um, and then she came back to at the time Starling City, and was vigilanteing, and then Oliver tracked her down, and she revealed that it was her, and he was like, "What?" <laughs> no, Firefox is not any better. All right, well, I gotta get some new material in, huh? I'm, um, I liked, I really liked Arrow last week, and I'm looking forward to this week's episode. Yeah, it was good. Um, I know I liked Adrian Chase's performance better than you did. Oh, you know what? I didn't dislike it. I just... I, that's what I said. I liked it better than you. Yeah. I um, just wanted to clarify. Yeah. I actually want to look up his acting credits. Oh, and congratulations to Colton Haynes. Yep. On his engage engagement. Yep. That's very cool. Josh Segarra. Stop it! He's from Longwood, Florida. I used to live minutes from there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's crazy. He's Puerto Rican. He's of Puerto Rican descent. He was in Sirens, the USA series. Oh, okay. Um, he loves the theater. He started starred as the Cowardly Lion. In the Orlando Youth Theater's production of The Wizard of Oz, uh, he gained accolades in solo performances in his middle school chorus and also received praise for his voice from members of his church. <laughs> um, he, went to, he went to NYU. Let's see. He graduated from the Tisch, 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 program. Tisch School of Art to NYU with a degree in theater. And during his freshman year at NYU, he had a role in the CBS movie Vampire Bats, starring Lucy Lawless. He sang, while he was there, he sang, beatboxed, and was a featured rapper for 
in the harmonics, a premier a cappella group. That's interesting. He performed on various stages, including Lincoln Center. Wow. Uh, for the International Acapella Super Finals. In his sophomore year, he performed in the off Broadway musical Fools in Love. Uh, he was in Homeland, the following, the Electric Company, the PBS's Electric Company. Huh. And he's going to be. Oh, he says, also can be seen recurring on the upcoming season of Chicago PD. It's interesting. He was in Trainwreck? Huh. I don't remember him in Trainwreck. Mm -hmm. I don't remember much about that movie. I remember thinking it it didn't seem plausible. Yeah, I also remember thinking it wasn't as funny as everybody said it was. <laughs> or I didn't think it was as funny as everybody said it was. Jason says, I wish they would bring back Colton Hayes. Yeah, I was really rooting for Colton to stick around and be with Thea. And yeah, I really wanted to see that. Yeah. Um, he's... Jason's asking if you have any plans to do more sports images. Um, no, I don't know. Um, maybe when, uh, maybe when Aiden gets, if Aiden gets into sports, maybe if there's maybe. somebody he's really into. Yeah, I mean. But that would be a while. <laughs> I do. I did almost all sports when I first started Odyssey. Yeah. Um, you, did, you did Derek Jeter, you did your teammates. Yeah, I did. Your dad is a football Yep, star. I did uh, I did a lot of Yankees, which I know Jason's not going to like, but... <laughs> He'll get over it. Yeah. Um... But I don't know. I can't even remember the last time I did a sports one. There's probably another Derek Jeter piece. So for this piece you're doing right now, it seems like you um, are showing more of the beginning process than in previous pieces. Is that yeah, accurate? Yeah, I, I did a lot less prep, prep before beforehand. Um, and so, on the one hand, you know, I know people have been wanting to see a little bit more of what it looks like at the beginning, uh, -huh. uh but on the other hand, that means that it's not going to look very close to done right. when we sign off here. You know, it'd be kind of cool is if you, yeah, Jason says go Jays, ha uh ha. -huh. Um, it'd be kind of cool if you, because we don't have, we only have like 10 more minutes. Yeah. And I think it would be nice to take a shot of it when you're, say, like halfway through it. Okay. And then take another one, obviously, when you're done. Okay.
exciting TV if I cut myself. <laughs> mm, exciting is no. not the word I would use. No, I don't think. Maybe if I didn't know you. Here's exciting. I can't even get the top off the marker. <laughs> So I wonder what's going on tonight that we don't have our usual crowd. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they don't like us anymore. That's possible. Certainly possible. Um, Jason is saying, I wanted to tell you that I was in Vegas recently and was wearing your Canary Sisters t-shirt and someone recognized your art. Hey, that's cool. That's very cool. So for everybody, so you guys that are watching, um, you know, you can go to odysseyart.net. Um, do we have any other outlets we need to say? No, probably not, right? Mm -hmm. Unless you want to mention Instagram or Twitter. Yeah. Not, they already know where we are on Facebook. Yeah, and they can find those if they want to by uh, going to the website. So. Okay, right. Thank you for joining us, Jason. Ah, David Jones. Hello. Looking good, Brian. See you next weekend. Thanks, David. I don't know that I've ever watched you like I'm watching you right now. I'm always looking at the Comments messages. And stuff, yeah. yeah. It's interesting. Jason says, Thanks for drawing my girl. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
your practice rehearsal? So I think it's fair to say that Brian and I are still kind of getting used to this live video feature and talking to you all. <clears throat> and it's been, what? well, not the most easy or comfortable. You know, I think there's some, a little awkwardness. And so we have, we have our people who watch who are kind of like our, our, oh, you're talking about how, our crutches or how Anne is our security blanket. Anne is our security blanket. It's very nice to have her on right now, <laughs> even though you're almost done. Holly Osborne. Hello. Hello. Jen O'Brien. Hi. Oh gosh. She's asking about the portfolios. <laughs> Will you be bringing any place to Chicago or Philly? Uh, I'll let you handle that. <laughs> um, Jen, um, private message us and tell us um, how many. If it's just one, that's fine. Just tell us, and then um, we can we can bring it to a show. Uh, yeah, we can, we can, I think we have enough that we can bring it to Chicago, but if we run out, we can, um, bring it to Philly too. Mm -hmm. Just private message us. Yes, Holly, our peeps, our usual peeps have... Not been on. Yeah, what's what uh, what was going on in the world that? Yeah, what what's going on in in Holly's world and Jen's world? David says he's going to have to get you a Pepsi mouse pad. <laughs> he works for Pepsi. I have a Coca-Cola mouse pad. Oh, I forgot what you had. I don't, I like, don't look at it ever, really. It's right. more, it's not that it's Coke. It's more that it's a polar bear playing baseball. That's why I have it. Okay, gotcha. Holly, you're on vacation? She says she's in California. Oh, is she working? Joined a yacht club officially today. Oh. What does that entail? Is that like a golf club, but you go for boating on yachts? <laughs> oh, no. She says, I'm bi coastal. I had no idea. You having trouble with your markers? Yeah, this this marker, it's brand It new. entails money, she says. <laughs> she put dollar signs. Yeah. <laughs> I would guess so. <laughs> what's the what's the polar bear wearing? What? What's the polar bear wearing? It's his hat on backwards. And something else? Is there something on his torso? No. No. Okay. He's just got a baseball in one hand and a bat in the other. Okay. Because Anne's asking if the polar bear has a Red Sox shirt on. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jen was prepping for work tomorrow and lost track of time. It's okay. We forgive you. 
<laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Speak for yourself. Oh, I thought we were being nice to our viewers. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yay, with this thing. What is going on? I don't know. Okay, Holly says that a yacht club is like a country club, but you can also bring your sailboat. I'm actually a yacht racer among all my other activities. Mama H keeps busy. Wow! Yeah, you do. Holy crap. Wow, that's really cool. I really enjoy being out on the water, even though my body does not. Does that mean seasickness? Yes, or just... that's exactly what it means. But I will gladly take medication and go out on the water. I have to say, this face is harder than usual. Yeah? So usually when I do these, uh, you know, I'm, because I'm drawing in marker, you mess up, you, you're effed. <laughs> All right. And normally on um, these, it's all about finding points of reference on the face. And you're not? You're having a hard time finding? Well, her face is, there's so much light on it mm -hmm. that there's very little uh, black. Mm -hmm. And black is what I use for points of reference. Mm -hmm. And so it's really, it's her eyes, her mouth, and just a little bit of her nose, but everything else is pretty much blank and so it's it's more difficult than normal mm -hmm. all right well now that all our peeps are here it's time to sign off yeah. Um, Holly says, next time you're in Chicago, I will take you guys out on a boat. I race there, too. Oh. I, I'm i okay with that. I'm as okay long with as... that, but when's the next time I'm going to be there? No. I was going to say, as long as, uh, as long as it's not too cold, because as we've established, I'm a temperature wuss. <laughs> um... Are you guys ready for London? I'm a dork and have a spreadsheet for all my tour stops. <laughs> uh, we still have to figure out how we're getting all our stuff there, but we've got our our flight, our flight and lodging, mm -hmm. and we're gonna do the Harry Potter experience. Tour. Yep. Um, and I'm gonna keep looking for you know, maybe one or two other things. Oh, I wanted to do the Tower of London again. I've done it, but I wanted you to do it. To that's, experience it. Yeah, that's cool. I'll do that. And maybe, like, one other thing. Or a couple small things. I don't know. Um, I think I'm going to stop there. It's... She says, is that a pencil drawing that started? Sorry, I missed the beginning. So that's your printed, you started digitally and printed it, right? I printed it and I transferred it to the Bristol board in pencil. 
David says he was outside in shorts today. Okay, but does that mean 50 degree weather or 70 degree weather? <laughs> because I know of people from Boston who think 50 degree weather is uh, short weather. And I do not. <laughs> Neither do I. Fifty degrees. <laughs> That's not shorts weather for us. Yep, no thanks. No thanks. All right, guys. Well, um, I'm sorry it wasn't more uh, entertaining tonight. I tried with the uh, with some facts about Katie Lots. I thought they were interesting. Thank you. Yeah. I think we should do that every time. Yeah, I, I agree. You know what would be really cool? Plan. Is if we got Katie Lots on the show. <laughs> I'll work on it in Chicago. <laughs> um... All right, I'm reading. People are people are. I'm reading some last minute comments. So, mm. Anne says she needs a longer weekend. So much to do before next week. Not this Boston girl needs to be about eighty. <laughs> okay, that's good. Um, David saying I was doing laundry and had no choice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Holly will join earlier next time, she says. Just turned on the notifications. All right. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thanks we'll see joining. a lot of you soon. Or I will. I'll, I'll miss you, you guys. Sorry, I'm not going. Just want to be home with Aiden. Yep. Plus, there's no room in the car for her, so. Yeah, it would be really rough. Mm hmm So, yep. anyway... All right. Um, we're gonna post um, a midway picture of uh, of this piece, and then we'll post it again once we're done. Assuming Brian remembers to take the picture in the middle, we'll we'll post it. That's a big assumption. Your memory's pretty good. I have faith. You'll do it. Yeah, but I might get in the zone and just go. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll we'll try to we'll try to post two more pictures of this. Yeah. And. Um, until next time. All right. Good night. Good night.